Hi, I'm Mark from Trail Buddy. Today we're going to go over some basic carburetor adjustments on our TB450. So what we're going to cover, this isn't meant to be like a in-depth how to uh, adjust carburetors, but this is just kind of, these are the parts and pieces, and these are some good information to know when you have this carburetor and, you, and, you, and you're going to need to make some adjustments when you install it. So this is the carburetor that we have for the Trail 70. Um, it's a pretty good clone. Uh, it's designed for the 69 to 76 CT70. And one thing to note is that it will not fit on a 77 or newer because of this center bolt spacing. So on the older bikes, this is, is a little bit wider. And on the newer ones, 77 to newer, they make the spacing just a little bit smaller for whatever reason Honda decided. So um, just one thing to note when you're sourcing this carburetor is keep keep thought of that pattern. Um, the next part we're gonna talk about is adjustments. So there's two main adjustments on the carburetor. All right, so we're gonna have our uh, air fuel mixture screw here, just kind of this, this below this blue ink. And then we're gonna have our uh, idle adjustment screw. So you know, in is going to make the, the motorcycle um, rev higher because it's going to push that slide up and allow more air to come through the carburetor. And as you back this guy off, you're having the slide go down. Now let's get into some of the adjustments. Let me get rid of this guy here. So this is your float bowl drain line. And I guess now that I got that off, let's just talk. So this is your float bowl drain screw. All right, so if you want to put it away for storage, you shut your fuel off, open this up, drain the fuel out, and then you're good for the winter. Um, it's a good spot here to talk about on off reserve. So how this works is it's it's how you, right, which way it's pointing or what it's covering. So if you can see that, it says off. So if I have the fuel switch over the off, it's off, right? If I'm bringing it up here to reserve, reserve. If I bring it down here, this is just regular on. So let's say we're going to drain the bowl. We're just going to, all right, I'm going to go to off, open this up, fuel drains out, boom. Now, the next one you use quite a bit is just going to be your choke right here. All right, so we've got, you can kind of look down the barrel. we got choke on, choke off. Uh, we've got our idle adjustment screw here and our air fuel mixture screw. So these are important ones to do when you're setting up your carburetor. Uh, this one controls obviously your idle, engine revving high, engine, engine, engine revving low. And then this one is your uh, air fuel mixture in terms of rich or lean. And now after this, we'll get into a little bit more detail and I'll try to show you some of the inside best we can on how this works and uh, how that can help you with your adjustments. So I took a carburetor part here just so we can see the inside, so we can just get a little bit more basic knowledge of what the controls do and how they work. All right, so I took our little screen off. This is the air filter side. So for some basics, right, so this is the choke open. So we got full airflow, uh, you know, bikes up to idle temperature. It's running good, you know, it, it's warm. So in the morning or first time you're ever turning the bike on, you're gonna close this here and this is choke on, right? So you can see the choke here. Now these change from year to year, but for this particular carburetor, pulling up, closing is choke on. Opening, choke off, ready to run. The next one we're gonna talk about is the idle adjustment screw. So this screw here, it's gonna take our slide and move it up and down, and that's gonna give us more airflow or less airflow on idling. And this is where you're going to want to adjust it at idle, your idle RPM. So what we can do, so we can take this guy apart, make sure my spring doesn't go shooting across the shop, and we can take our slide out. So orientation of the slide when you get it and you need to put it together is important. We'll get into that a little bit later, but talking about this idle adjustment screw here, you can kind of see the little angle that that guy's going to push against. And that's where you're adjusting. So let me try to turn this here so you can see it. And orientation matters, right? There's this little dowel peg here, which aligns with that line. And you put that in. 
and you can see as this closes and or opens. I gotta kind of jimmy it back out here so we can see it open. But another thing to look at too is when you put this together and you have your throttle cable in, you want to make sure that you are at your starting point and before you even install it, that's a good baseline to get. Is that gap that you see in there, that's the where you want to start. All right, so now after you kind of understand the basics of the uh, idle screw, right? Turning it in clockwise moves it up, idle goes up, turning it out counterclockwise, idle goes down. The next main screw for adjusting is going to be your air fuel mixture screw. So this guy is important because this is, helps you lean it or make it rich for your fine adjustments. So any major adjustments, you're going to want to change out your jet and or move our needle seat up or down. So to do that guy, oh, I lost my W clip. Put that there. So here, here's your main jet needle. So this is where if you ever hear anybody talking about, oh, did you raise or lower your clip to be able to go rich or lean? This is what they're talking about. So they've got machine grooves in here that this clip seats on. And that's what sets the height to your main jet. So uh, if you're to take this clip off, move it down, it's going to get further away from your main jet, which is going to allow more fuel into your carburetor. Now the opposite of that, right? if you're running too rich and you're getting too much fuel, you want to take the clip and go the other way. And, you're gonna, and what that's going to do is that's going to close your needle. So basic tuning. Um, so like say once you've got this guy set and it, it's in the middle is usually pretty good for a factory bore uh, When you start Fine-tuning that's where you're gonna use your your air fuel mixture screw here So what I like to do is you get the bike up to operating temperature ride it for a good 10 minutes, right? Not hard just get it warm and then turn your idle up just a little bit You know turn the revs up a little bit more than you normally would and what this one is, this is going to be your fine adjustment. So as I turn it in, we're going to lean it out. And then you can kind of hear the bike will kind of raise an idle. And then also it'll fall off. So what you want to do is to kind of turn this thing in until it just starts to raise a little bit. And then back it off. I usually go maybe a half turn, um, which would be one rotation of that guy. And that's where you're going to want to set it. And then there's some more details in terms of like looking at your your spark plug how dark and sooty it is or white and uh you know which would be rich or lean but for your main just the basic overview again you've got your idle and your air fuel, fuel mixture screw now under the bottom of the carburetor now we can see the insides right so we've got our float which this regulates the amount of fuel That'll, that'll be allowed into the bowl. Uh, let me grab the bowl. So here's the bowl right here. Kind of an inside shot. You know, here you can see the drain screw where it comes through. And we've got our two jets. So we've got our main jet and our idle jet. So it comes stock with a 58 and 35. Now we also include a 60 and a 38. Now to read the numbers on them, it, you won't be able to see it in the in the in the video here, but they're stamped on the side of the jet, and it become a little hard to read. Same thing with the uh, idle here, stamped on the side tells you the number. So this one's the extra one, so it's the 38, and then the 60. But those are installed here, and those correspond with your needle that's in your slide. So where I was talking previous in the video, you know, how the carburetor works, letting more fuel in, you know, regulating the fuel out. Those are some of the details here. And to remove them, uh, it's just a matter of getting a good screwdriver. This one might be just a little too small, but you want one that's going to span that a little bit bigger. So you don't necessarily bend or break the brass pieces in here. You can see this one I was monkeying with a little bit and I kind of gummed it up. So there's a good option of what not to do. But these are your main, your main jet and your idle jet. Again, we've got the float, 
and we've got a little shut off here. So some of the older carburetors you can experience when you turn the gas on and all of a sudden it starts leaking gas outside the carburetor. So what that typically is, is this guy, you know, it's gone bad, it could be sunk, um, you know, or if you're not getting any fuel, what happens is there's that little part in here that it's controlling, which is calling for, you know, it's calling for more fuel. And when it floats, it's shutting off fuel. So that could be another thing that you experience. So here's the inside of the carburetor, some of the details. Again, this is just kind of a basic overview of getting people used to, you know, what they are, some of the names, and what you're going to be looking for when you're going to do, be, be doing any kind of adjustment. So we covered some of the basic functions, what does what, how it works. And I figured we'd end the video with exactly, you know, how do we get this bugger in here? So again, this is kind of basic for guys that, are, that just get into it, learning, having fun. So installing our cable. So what first thing we need to do is I'm gonna put this one aside because this is a new carburetor. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this one out, this is one we can wreck. So to install our cable into our slide, what we need to do, and we need to be careful because there's springs in here and this could shoot out. So if you're in your shop that goes flying across the room, you're probably not gonna be too happy with yourself. But I usually, I'll put like a little pressure with my palm on here and I'll just unscrew this guy, this here. And then we can see the spring. And then also note that there's a little uh, gasket here uh, to seal to the top. So just make sure you don't lose that. So we'll put this guy aside. We're gonna pull our spring out, don't lose that. Important. And then we're gonna take our slide out. So this one popped out pretty easy. I mean, sometimes you gotta give a little tap and it'll come out. But again, there's an orientation to this. So I'll cover that one more time before we put it in. But just note, this is where the pin is that corresponds with this here groove. All right, so now we've got it out. And the first thing we need to do is there's a W clip inside here that holds the needle down. So there's, there's a little part, so we want to make sure we don't lose that clip. So I'll put my finger over the top. I'll push the needle in until I feel it. And I'll push my finger away to grab our clip. So I'll go over how this goes in. There is an orientation in terms of the cable location. All right, so now we can keep our needle in. All right, so I'm going to grab the slide here in my hand. And I'm going to make sure that I've got my cable, I want as much free play as I can because it's going to make it easier for the next steps. So I'm going to grab my cap, my little rubber boot. Oh, see I lost the uh, gasket there, but you just got to fish this guy in there. You can see, don't get, sometimes it'll hang up there, don't get frustrated. It, you just kind of work it around and push it through. I'm going to push this in. Let me pull that back and you can see it. There's also a little adjustment here, you know, for your idle, but uh, that boot back on, pull that cable free play out so it's nice and tight. And the next one, we're going to take our, oh, don't forget this, we've got our little gasket, little ceiling gasket, and we have our spring. Now we're ready for our spring. So we put the spring over, and this is where it can become a little bit tricky. What you need to do, and you kind of watch me here, I'm going to grab the end of the cable, I'm just going to pull that spring down. You kind of see where I've got it, fingers. I'm going to pinch and hold on to that guy. Then I'm going to take our slide, and you can see here where you've got the round receiving end. So it's got a kind of it's got a counterboard surface, and we've got our little metal part. So here, so we're going to go into that groove that aligns the slide into the carburetor. We're going to move that down. I'm going to pull that spring back. And I'm going to push it in to the receiver. So here, so now we've got our full throttle assembly. I'm going to cover this up. This is a parts unit here. You can kind of see that's broken there a little bit, but I put that back on. We're going to make sure that gasket doesn't fall. And then we're going to take our carburetor here. And remember that groove we were talking about before? Right here? We're going to make sure that's aligned. And one thing to note is you did make sure that W clip here isn't pushed up and or like jumped or moved. Uh, the spring kind of helps seat it. It'll help push it down, but these are little things that as you get used to working on the carburetors and you do that stuff, these are things you're mindful of. We're going to install that guy in there. We're going to turn it so we've got it. And we're going to slide. There shouldn't be any resistance until you feel it hit the bottom. 
and you can kind of see that here through that hole there, the main intake. And this is another point where you can kind of check to make sure that you, you've got the right cable length pull. Let's say you're working on this and it's just like the, the pull length is just crazy tight. Then you know you've got something wrong. Um, it could be installed wrong upper by the throttle assembly, but one thing to look out as you're down here. But again, I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to find that pin. Got it. I'm going to put that down and then threading this on. you got to be careful not to cross thread it. These are just little, little guys, little threads. And I'm going to try to feel it till it's square. You know, and then I'm going to keep pressure on that spring and I'm going to turn this guy. All right, I got my thread started. We're good. We're not cross thread. It should be super easy. I'm going to bring that down. And I can feel it hit that gasket, all right? And I'm just going to give it just another little turn. All right. So then to verify, yeah, you know, we're, we're at the beginning of the where the slide starts. So um, I'll pull the cable out here a little bit so you can kind of get an idea of how that moves. So there would be wide open throttle, and here we are at idle, and. This is where you would come in. It's a brand new carburetor. The idle screw might not be set just the right temp the right uh, depth and it may be too low and the bike might just stall out and you got to run that at throttle. So what we're going to do then at that point is we're just going to push, turn this in. I'll grab the screwdriver here. And we're going to turn that in until, and you can kind of move this and it will move that slide up, which will bring the idle up. Again, too, if you install it and the idle is too high, then you're turning this guy back and allowing that slide to go down. So it's kind of some inner lookings of the carburetor that we have. Um, some of the basic functions. And one thing to note is if you're new at this, don't get frustrated. This sometimes, I've been doing this for, gosh, as long as I can remember. Um, so it might not go in as good that you got to look out for that w clip sometimes can pop out i'll take it apart one more time so you can kind of see it um you know i'm pulling that spring back and i'm holding it with my fingers and being careful not to let that shoot out and you know just make sure that's seated so your jet your needle here for your jet is seated and then go for the assembly but that's kind of the basic insides, and I hope that helps people out getting into the hobby and learning how to do it. So this is going to wrap up our Trail 70 carburetor uh, video here. Again, this is just it's not meant to be like a total in-depth one, but just trying to get, get you familiar with some of the adjustments. Again, we've got our uh, idle here. We've got our air fuel mixture screw, our choke, on-off reserve, and float bowl drain. Now, if you're getting into tuning a little bit more, we do offer several different jet kits for uh, the main and the idle. And uh, it's something that uh, it takes time to learn how to use the different carburetors. It's not like a fuel injected motor where you've got a computer making adjustments all the time. But I hope that helps everybody out. Uh, you can find this part and more parts at MyTrailBuddy.com.